Good morning, Logan County. I'm Brian. And I'm Lindsay. Let's start our day with a little inspiration. Today's daily devotional comes from Isaiah 54:10. For the mountains may move and the hills disappear, but even then my faithful love for you will remain. My covenant of blessing will never be broken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. Amen. And welcome to Logan County Breakfast, where we bring you the best start to your day right here in Logan County, Arkansas. We're here to keep you informed, entertained, and inspired. So grab your coffee and let's get started. Today we're talking about a beautiful initiative that went down in this year's annual convention for the American Veterinary Medical Association. And let me tell you, it was one of the stories that reminds us the power of the bond between humans and animals. We'll get into it right after this message. Don't go away. Welcome to Penhamo Mexican Restaurant, where tradition and community come together. For over two decades, Penhamo has been more than just a place to dine. It has been a pillar of support for Logan County. From sponsoring Little League baseball teams to hosting unforgettable graduation parties, Penhamo has been there every step of the way. At Penhamo, they take pride in nurturing relationships that last a lifetime. Their commitment to the community runs deep, just like the flavors of their authentic Mexican cuisine. Join them tonight and experience the warmth of Penhamo, where every meal is a celebration of their rich heritage and enduring community spirit. Penhamo Mexican Restaurant, serving Logan County since 2003. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Tommy Joe. And good morning, Mary Garman. And Dennis and Wanda. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, Dennis and Wanda. In partnership with Street Dog Coalition, the Convention for the American Veterinary Medical Association turned into a medical care drive for companion animals of homeless individuals in the Denver area. The best part? Any pet owner could bring in their animal for a free health check, mm. vaccinations, and essential supplies to take home. That's wonderful. It really is amazing. You know how we often hear how important emotional support animals are to people in general, but for someone experiencing homelessness, the bond with their pet can mean the world. Dr. Ashley Ackley, one of the volunteer veterinarians, made a great point when she said, there's a big stigma about how people need to be able to afford everything to have a pet, but that's not always the case. Exactly. Many of these individuals rely on their pets for companionship, purpose, and unconditional love. It's really touching to know that the Street Dog Coalition, along with some generous corporate sponsors, came together to provide much needed care and support for both ends of the leash. And what's even better is that each pet owner was given referrals for spaying, neutering, or follow-up vaccinations in the Denver area, ensuring ongoing care. Katrina Weschler, <clears throat> Executive Director of the Street Dog Coalition, said it best. By providing free, compassionate care, we hope to help preserve, protect, and strengthen those bonds. <clears throat> Such a beautiful mission. Events like these show, it, show us the good that can come from communities banding together to help those in need. And honestly, pets give us so much love. This is just one way to give some of that love back. That's wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a look at today's weather in Logan County, sponsored by Baker Shelter Insurance. Today, sunny skies, high near 89. Another beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Tonight, clear, low near 63. Well, whose birthday is today? Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Today is not Adam Sandler's birthday. <laughs> wow, I messed up there. Today is Shelby Wallace's birthday. Happy birthday, Shelby. If you see Shelby today, be sure and wish her a happy birthday. You can submit birthdays to us via Facebook Messenger or by emailing us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. Sorry, Shelby. I'll, I'll have it up there by the end of the show. Stick around for our Logan County Breakfast Daily Trivia and much more. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Did you get us switched over to shelter insurance? Actually, I found a deal online. You did? Does your deal come with award-winning customer service? Oh, I'm not sure. Does the deal include a local agent? Doesn't actually say. Can we create a customized plan that fits our needs? Hmm. Let's just call the local shelter agent. For insurance that fits just right, find a shelter agent near you. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Today is Swap Ideas Day. It is a holiday that brings people together so they can pick each other's brains. Mm -hmm. On Swap Ideas Day, people have the opportunity to bounce different ideas off each other. It's always a fun time with friends, families, coworkers, even strangers. So happy Swap Ideas Day. Yes, I love to pick people's brains. And now it's time for our news brief. Scientists at the Australian National University have made a fascinating discovery deep within the Earth's core. They have identified a donut-shaped structure, structure called a toroid located thousands of miles beneath the Earth's surface. This remarkable finding could provide new insights into how the swirling liquids within the Earth's core influence our planet's magnetic field, which shields us from the sun's intense radiation. The discovery, detailed in a new paper published in the journal Science Advances, was made by studying reverberating shock waves from earthquakes. According to the researchers, this peculiar structure remained hidden until now due to limitations in previous data collection methods. The discovery raises intriguing questions about the nature of our planet's protective magnetism and indicates the need for further multiple disciplinary research efforts to fully understand the Earth's outer core. This breakthrough could lead to a deeper understanding of the magnetic fields not only on Earth, but also on other planets. Very neat. <clears throat> and now for local events. In local news, the Chamber of Commerce of South Logan County has announced an upcoming coffee mixer event today at 9 a.m. at Union Bank in Boonville. The event will feature freshly brewed coffee, hot cocoa, and homemade confections. It's a great opportunity to network with area civic and business leaders. Take advantage of this exciting event. I always like when there's a list of things to say, because when you're saying them, you do like this. Yeah, I do. Yeah, keeps it interesting. <laughs> it is now time for our trivia. <laughs> this week's trivia theme is U.S. Military. What does the acronym SEAL stand for in relation to U.S. Navy? To the U.S. Navy. If you know, leave a comment, message us on Facebook, or email us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. As for yesterday's <laughs> trivia, what is the highest enlisted rank a soldier can hold in the United States Army? Our viewer on YouTube, Rusty Shackelford, said Command Sergeant Major of the Army. That is correct. Very good. I don't know a lot about military rank. Um, but I guess there's a, a difference between a sergeant major and command sergeant major because the, I know the, the, and the rank on their shoulder is different. The sergeant major has like, just like these leaves with a star or something. And the command sergeant major has the, the bird inside. Oh, it's very interesting. Oh, that's pretty confusing to me. As we wrap up today's show, we'd like to leave you with a motivational quote to carry you through the day. Give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it, and I shall move the world. Archimedes. Ooh, very good. <clears throat> um, we will be right back. 
I've got to fix where I messed up on the birthday. And just like that, we're back. Okay, so. Whose birthday is today? Let's have a look. It is my sister Shelby's birthday. Happy birthday, Shelby. Still making that sound. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Today is her gender reveal. Ooh. She's having a baby. We're so happy for her. Yes. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us on Logan County Breakfast. We'll see you tomorrow morning with more news, weather, and inspiration. Have a great day. Have a blessed day, everyone.